A picture is worth thousand words. The statement becomes even more relevant when we look at the present India Maldives tussle that has started after the Prime Minister's social media post from his Lakshadweep visit. Hello everyone, my name is Shweta and in this video today, we are going to discuss about the ongoing conflict between India and Maldives. In this video, the points of discussion would revolve around, first we will try to see what the current issue is about. Then we'll see the significance of relations from Maldives perspective and from India's perspective as well. Then the recent developments and the visible divergences that can be seen in the bilateral relations between India and Maldives. We should also try to analyze the reasons for such increasing tensions in the relations which were once very cordial. And we'll try to conclude this with a way forward. So we'll begin the discussion with the current issue. See the current issue has started after the Prime Minister's visit to Lakshadweep. The Indian Prime Minister, he was there in Lakshadweep to inaugurate the Kochi Lakshadweep Islands submarine optical fiber connection and many other projects as well. While he was there, he made some social media posts to promote the tourism in Lakshadweep. After that, Many of the social media users in India tried to draw a parallel between the Lakshadweep scenic beauty with the other countries such as Thailand, Singapore and even Maldives. This was not taken in a good humor by Maldives and many of the social media users, they had reacted in an offensive manner. The Maldives officials also responded in making offensive comments against India and Indian Prime Ministers as well. So after that, the social media outrage, it has now become a diplomatic hurdle for both these nations. Following that, a social media war, it led to a campaigning in both these countries. In Maldives, hashtag visit Maldives campaign had been started. And in response, Indian Bollywood superstars and the cricketers and the other social media users they had also started hashtag visit Lakshadweep campaign. So both these countries, they were trying to influence the other country against their interest. After that, the Maldivian politicians, they had come out in open to condemn the hateful language used by some of the politicians. And the Maldives Foreign Affairs Ministry, it has said that the personal opinion on social media it do not represent the government's view. To diffuse the tensions further, the Maldives government even suspended three of its officials who had involved in such disparaging comments against India and its Prime Minister. While this has been the current issue, we will try to locate these areas of concern on a map. So this is Lakshadweep Island which is part of India located in its southern side. And this is Maldives, which is a, another country. Very much close proximity between both these countries. The nearest island of Lakshadweep is Minikoi Island, which is present very close to Maldives. So because of their close proximus location, the countries are very much important for each other. And as they are present in the Indian Ocean region, the significance of these relations becomes even more. So coming to that, we'll discuss the significance of relations from each other's perspective. First, we'll take a look at why India is important for Maldives. First is the defense cooperation. India and Maldives, they are involved in joint training operation. The Maldivian National Defense Forces, it receives 70% of its training from India's assistance only. The regular Military exercises such as Ecuverin and Dosti, they are conducted between both these nations. Apart from defense cooperation, bilateral trade is also a perspective. The trade agreement has been there since very earlier and even now the trade has been consistently increasing. India has now become second largest trading partner of Maldives. Apart from it, the development and infrastructure support India is involved in a host of infrastructure projects in Maldives and the greatest of them being the Greater Malay Connectivity Project. 
the greater malik connectivity project is touted to be one of the largest infrastructure projects that has ever undertaken in maldives apart from it india has also provided financial assistance towards the construction of indira gandhi memorial hospital in maldives so that is about the importance of india for maldives and lastly the maldives tourism one third of maldives gdp is generated from its tourism activities and out of all the tourists that are attracted towards maldives 11% of all of them are from india so india is providing so much tourism prospects to the maldives so that highlights the importance of india for maldives but on the other hand maldives is very much important for india as well we we'll look how so first is strategic importance see maldives is located in the crucial indian ocean region right important sea lanes of communication are also located very much closest to maldives then cooperation in regional groupings maldives and india are aligning their interest in the regional level and try to bring stability in the whole indian ocean region it also plays a active role in cementing india's position as a net security provider and lastly the security of indian diaspora is very much important from india's perspective around 25000 indian expatriates they are living in maldives so for their safety security and welfare it becomes very important that india engages proactively with the maldives government so all of this is significance of the bilateral relations between india and maldives but this significant is not very much visible in the recent trend these relations are following so we'll come to the recent divergences or the hiccups that are marking the recent relations between india and maldives first is the ongoing lakshadweep issue after the social media outrage many of the indians has cancelled their flight to the maldives so it brought the tourism under in tourism industry under strain right and apart from it a larger wave of hyper nationalism it can also be seen in the region because of this particular event Again, apart from it the india out campaign which has now been started in maldives for many years right the president president mohammad muizu who has won and come to power in maldives has used the india out campaign in his slogan to election so this is also instilling the skepticism against india's defense partnership and india's investment in maldives so because of that anti india sentiments are also on the rise in maldives that could also be seen as a impact of revocation of hydrographic survey agreement India and Maldives are involved in a joint hydrographic pact but recently Maldives decide to revoke from it as Maldives is apprehensive about India's hydrographic activity being a form of intelligence collection so environment of mistrust and suspicion has led to discontinuation of such important agreements so we have seen that very importance very much importance is there be, be, between the bilateral relations but still the recent divergences can be seen so what could be the reason behind those recent divergences we'll try to analyze the reasons for increasing tensions effects of domestic politics of maldives see domestic politics of maldives is fragmented the prior government which was focusing upon india first approach right the recent government which has come to power it is now acting upon india out campaign so that divergence that fragmented domestic politics it is also visible in the changing foreign policy also of maldives then the diplomatic crisis in maldives see all the countries in south asia are experiencing this problem that they are trying to balance the very important powers in the region india and china so while this balance has been ongoing the crisis in maldives can be seen as one government it becomes pro china and another government is it said to be pro india government then the rising chinese influence maldives has become a important pearl in the china string of pearl strategy 
Maldives is an active participant of the China's Belt and Road Initiative. Right, so the closeness be between India and between China and Maldives is increasing, and because of which India is also having some concerns. Then Islamic radicalization concerns. Maldives has experiencing a wave of Islamic radicalization, and more and more recruitments from Maldives are made towards the uh, terrorist organizations such as ISIS. Very recently, in 2022. Indian embassy has organized a yoga gathering which was attacked by the islamic radicals citing that yoga does not go with the islamic beliefs so that kind of hate against india's beliefs are now arising in maldives and lastly the perceived security threat the maldives is now increasingly suspicious a uh, environment of distrust has been created and because of which the sovereignty issues are cited time and again by maldives so the relations which were very cordial now are experiencing a downward trend because of such reasons but what should we do to try to diffuse these tensions how should we address this issue and we should look at the way forward so first we should try to discover and develop the tourism destination in india itself There are many beautiful locations in Kerala, in Andaman and Nicobar, in Goa, and India should try to develop those. Basic infrastructure should be provided. A reliable connectivity should be upgraded so that the tourism prospects are even more enhanced. So that the tourists are getting easy access to the undisclosed sites till now. Next, we should also try. to step into the footsteps of gujral doctrine gujral doctrine which focuses more on non reciprocity towards the neighboring countries it should also be our guiding light india should prioritize regular and constructive diplomatic dialogue so that these tensions and these issues should be addressed there and then and no lingering upon these issues should be allowed then india should continue to strengthen regional alliances and cooperation for mutual benefits the bilateral tensions which could not be getting solved this can be taken at the regional cooperative level apart from it we should apply prudence in international affairs such needless provocations in dealing with the neighboring countries it should be avoided maldives should also avoid such comments and india should also on the other hand show some maturity then responsive role of social media warriors it should be promoted and enhancing the national interest but also no bullying on social media should be accepted and lastly we should try to craft a comprehensive indian ocean strategy to counter china we should try to take efforts to ensure the safety and freedom of navigation in the critical sea lanes of communication also to safeguard our own economic interest and energy supplies right india should also keep its commitment to regional security if india wants to be stable and secure the regional security should also be addressed this is how we can try to address this issue and the larger india maldives tensions to conclude this issue we can say that both india and maldives they should try to energize synergize their policies of india neighborhood first and maldives india first approach and largely in the international relations the importance of diplomatic and responsible engagements is even more essential in the digital age so we should try to follow that approach in our foreign affairs as well that's all that we had to discuss today thank you